Greetings, Guardian. Hey, what's up? What's up, Zavala? Yeah, let me ask you something. How do you feel about Void 3.0? Oh, no. oh, I'll tell you what Void 3.0 really is. Oh, okay then. How do you feel about Solo 3.0? You know, hey, you know, um, um Mr. <laughs> Zavala, you know we're most likely wearing it, wearing Lorelei Splinter Helm the entire season, yes, right? Every time we're on Solo 3.0, making other uh, Solar Exotics uh, armor look useless. Uh, I see. Hey, oh, I see. Hey, I so, in in any cases, uh, so in but any cases, so in any cases, are you ready to hit yourself a true power? Uh, yes, I am. I'm getting tired of wearing Lorelei Splinter Helm every single see, every single uh, time. Uh, shoot thing. I know you and Lord Shax uh, will be the, uh, be the inevitable by the time Arc 3.0 comes. Get plenty of time. Get plenty of time to gather yourself up uh, before Arc 3.0. So, I'll information y'all more later. Oh, right, right, right. Hey, YouTube, Skills here. In today's video, gonna uh, make a quick, uh, quick notice and vacation. We have a few weeks remaining until the next season uh, of Destiny 2 coming, uh, coming out soon. And and it's no, and as much as I'm late uh, to say this one during the double nightfall loot. If you haven't got double nightfall loot, well, that's kind of. Yeah, well, that's kind of a bummer. And speaking of double nightfall loot, uh, take advantage of those delicious, uh, delicious exotic drops. Yeah, first up, uh, number one thing you should do is focus on your stats. Hey, I love stats. You love stats. We all love stats. Now, I made sure I built mines uh, revolve around powerful friends. Well, well, generally this is a melee. Yeah, this is a melee build. I build up for it, and by taking advantage of double nightfall loot. Uh, loot, I get to upgrade. Well, I forgot to upgrade the Heart of Inmost Light. Hey, but I tentatively focus on the legs first before, uh, before coming up to the arms part. Uh, but any case, <laughs> always concentrate your uh, your stats. The best way to do it is to do is to do the season of the Risen or the Hunt or this current season, uh, the Risen. Now, mostly I did it in Season of the Risen because it's much more faster and it costs less to make your armor <laughs> to make your armor have higher stat. But be sure you take advantage of your ghosts. Like for example, I leave my ghost to have discipline, and it so this Titan is most likely resilience, <laughs> resilience and discipline focused. Mostly resili resilience and discipline, and mostly all rounded at <laughs> this stat. Yeah, but if you're going for a stat. But if you want to go for stats, this is for later on for a video, I wanted you to focus on 100 resilience. I know it sounds crazy and you may say, ah, resilience don't matter. But if you act, yeah, but if you actually, but if you actually read what the previous TWAB says, is resilience now affects damage reduction in PVE, it now, it now affects the flinch, yeah, the flinch rating. Hey, which I will review that video later on. Uh, now, second and most least, now second important thing is crafted your remaining uh, weapons. Now, <laughs> you can tell how much I spent time on this shotgun, and and it was, and it was pretty much my favorite shotgun. It's pretty much my favorite shotgun. It's pretty much the alternative version of Half Dan D, the Ragon Hill D. I mean, it, it made a name for itself, <laughs> you know. You know, over almost over a thousand kills with this weapon in PvP. He now now specifically I made it max range and basically perpetual motion and you know, and one two punch. But specifically one two punch is for Arc 3.0 coming you know, coming in soon. You know, but whatever your craft your crafted god roll weapon for this Ragnar D, I know it's ele enhanced elemental capacitor. Here, but I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna stick with perpetual motion one two punch. It makes it easier for me. <laughs> and, la and last but not least, once you get everything done and over with, be sure you don't burn yourself out. Become chilling like a villain, like me. You see, I'm the chosen one, after all, after getting uh, vexed with the class three times in a row. Oh, they know this, that the fist is stronger than any gun, and they're able to drop the uh, three Vex class. So, that's all the advice I had to tell you in this quick video. Oh, hopefully you guys, yeah, you enjoy, 
Hopefully you take y'all this advice. And I will see you guys next time. Laters.